So currently in the second week of lockdown, um, Boris Johnson two weeks ago basically closed everything down and rightfully so. So this is what an average day for myself looks like. So waking up at 6.30 every single morning, Monday to Friday, uh, getting up, going for like a 40, 45 minute stroll, getting those steps in, coming back, getting ready, sitting down, drinking a coffee, listening to all the content ideas that I'm gonna be doing for today. And then once kind of half eight, sort of quarter to nine hits, that's when I'm gonna create some Instagram and TikTok content. And if you aren't following those two platforms, go ahead and do so. And yeah, let's start the day. Instagram workout complete. That was an ab workout that I just finished. Make sure if you guys wanna film um, some exercises and footage for Instagram, make sure you record on portrait and not landscape. This is a mistake that I made for a while. So um, straight on to some TikTok videos now. Just a little tip for you guys, if you are using the app TikTok, make sure you're using the self timer um, mode because with that one, obviously you can set it to three or 10 seconds to get yourself in a position when you're ready to actually perform the exercise. And you can also use, I can't remember what it's called, but it basically will stop the track after a certain period. So for example, if I know I'm doing an exercise for two or three seconds, I can set the timer and where the song is gonna stop and it's gonna stop recording rather than keep like filming separately and then cropping and put it into TikTok, it's so much easier for you guys to do. So just a little tip there. Anyway, that's all the film and all the content for this morning. Um, and now first meals are gonna go in. So a meal one finished. I tend to push the first meal back till sort of <clears throat> anywhere between sort of 10 and 10.30. Um, I'm probably moving a lot less throughout the day, which is normal because we're obviously restricted to going outside one time a day. So just push that first meal back. Um, today's actually Friday, so this is where I tend to um, create all my kind of uh, content for the start of next week. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday tend to be with clients online and kind of one-to-one -one FaceTime calls at the moment. Uh, and then kind of like Thursday, Thursday Friday, Saturday uh, tends to be any kind of YouTube, podcast, um, any kind of Instagram videos that I want to record. I actually filmed a podcast yesterday with Lewis, um, which I will be editing today and then putting out later in the week. If you haven't already, obviously go ahead and check out my podcast. In the podcast, I speak to personal trainers, online coaches, gym owners, anyone like that in terms of their experience in the industry and what they could offer to other people looking to get started or to improve their business. Um, so we're gonna crack on with that now and yeah, see you very soon. It was just a very slow process. I didn't have all my, my check-in packs made, my welcome, my onboarding. So this is the podcast I did with Lewis a couple of days ago. We spoke all about kind of his start and his experiences in the industry and where he is in the moment and the improvements he's made. I've actually, I think this is episode 25, I've actually kind of uh, changed my kind of podcast, I've created a new thumbnail for it. Uh, I've changed the way that I kind of structure all the episodes as well. So if you haven't already, go ahead and check this podcast out. It's fantastic for personal trainers, online coaches, or anyone in the industry um, that's just interested in fitness. <laughs> Some may like this. At the moment I'm not. You don't like it. <laughs> I'm just joking. Are you coming funny faces? I'm smiling. You are? Are you pretending to type? No, I am actually typing. Oh.
Yes, guys, so I'm now gonna go through a box of clothes that I got from my protein a few days ago. I was actually lucky enough to be sent these to create some awesome TikToks. Uh, and again, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out my TikTok accounts. Um, so yeah, I was uh, given some of these. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I've got, uh, the sizes, the colors, and the kind of reasons why I purchased these. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. There's no discount code, nothing nothing like that. But obviously, if you want to purchase them, then go ahead and do so. We're going to start off with these joggers here. These are the double tape tricot joggers. Um, really like this um, part on the side here. I've actually got some Nike joggers, very similar like this. They obviously just say Nike on the, on the sides. Uh, but this is the first item. Anything bottom-wise, you've probably seen my clothes hauls before I always go for large, especially if something's um, slightly taped. Medium's probably just too tight around the legs and extra large is probably just a little bit too baggy. So this is what I've gone for. Obviously you've got the uh, string at the front here to obviously uh, tighten them up. Um, pretty decent. These ones obviously are probably gonna be more lounge wear than gym. So very, very nice indeed. I was actually really, really impressed with some of the My Protein clothing. I've purchased My Protein clothing before, um, but I'm really liking the kind of style and aesthetic kind of look they're going for. Uh, this is a, a graphic tee. Uh, again, black, but again, the simplicity, but then the kind of uniqueness of obviously having the brand and the logo on there, but obviously nothing too dominant, nothing too um, bold. This is what's really kind of uh, push me to kind of purchase this top uh, any kind of top wise t-shirts because um, I'm in my kind of off season uh, I'm not as, as lean as I I normally am towards the summer months I always go for extra large I could probably get away with a large but it's probably just a slight slightly too slightly too tight and especially when I do workouts I like something a bit baggier hopefully it's still going to fit around the kind of the arms and the, and the areas you want it to fit but always extra large. So this is the style. Uh, it's got a reasonably high neck, which I really like, as you can probably see from, from the top that I'm wearing at the moment. And obviously you've got a really cool uh, My Protein with a bit of orange color as, as well. Um, you guys probably know I, I love the color. <laughs> I love the color black. I love kind of simple clothing uh, that looks really cool. So this is, uh, is absolutely fantastic. My Protein socks. Uh, seem to have three, that's not quite right, there we go. Uh, two pairs of these, nothing else to say. Uh, size nine to 12, I've got size 10 feet. This is the size I go for. Got the My Protein at the top part of the sock there. Really, really cool. Logo tape t-shirt, very cool. Very similar to the joggers that I had shown you the first item. They are not a set, but again, I just love this kind of style. Uh, it's very much in fashion even though I'm not necessarily too fashionable, but it's kind of in at the moment, which is really cool. Uh, reasonably high neck as well, again, similar. Uh, extra large, black, black and white is literally the only way to go. Decent item, really, really like this. My protein cap for all of those bed hair days when you want to train in the morning, and this would be absolutely fantastic. At the moment, when I'm going for my morning walks, my one exercise every single day, uh, when I just kind of want to chuck a hat on, fantastic. When I was uh, obviously originally told that I was able to uh, purchase some things for my protein, um, this was the first thing that I wanted to get when I looked on the website for some of the clothing. I had seen it before. Um, again, got that similar kind of style down down this. And as well, the sewing's actually pretty decent as well, which is considering the price that you pay, it's a, a very premium kind of product. But this kind of style where simpli uh, simplicity, you've got style, you've got a bit of uniqueness as well. Very, very nice. Hoodies wise, again, I go extra large. Sometimes you're risking it if the kind of tape's slightly too long, then obviously it's gonna drain you a little bit, but I still, I'd still do that. I'd rather play it slightly safe than go large and just be too tight. Um, very, very good. And yeah, I think this is a newish kind of product as well. Um, for my protein um, and if you haven't already guys at the end of the video go and check out my protein check out the clothing some really really good products last couple of items now again another pair of joggers these ones probably yeah loungewear but i probably will wear these to the gym as well um 
they're slightly different material to the others. The others are kind of like a more of like a silky kind of uh, color, where these is obviously like the more uh, kind of tracky joggers. Very nice. Obviously got the sides white bit there. Nothing onto the kind of bum. Obviously you've got the mum, mum. Um, you've got the my protein uh, sign on the like, kind of tassels at this front part as well. And finally, as summer is fast approaching, whether we'll be going outside or not, um, and can be able to kind of go into gym facilities, I have purchased myself some kind of shorts. Um, these are my protein shorts here. Decent kind of size. Um, not too long, not too short, just be mindful guys when you purchase some shorts, obviously you want them to be, I wouldn't say tapered, but you want them to be the right kind of fit, but if they're too short, they go straight up the, you know, what's it, so make sure they're a decent kind of size, short wise, um, I go, I go large, so yeah, shorts and uh, joggers go large, anything else extra large. Um, and that's kind of size. I'm six foot one. I weigh roughly about 96 kilos. So if you did want to purchase any of these products and you you kind of wanted to work out what you would be, obviously head onto the website or obviously use myself as an example. Um, I hope you enjoyed that kind of mini clothes haul. All links in the description. And yeah, on to the next part of the day. Charlie come through with the uh, Chinese Fridays, homemade. Chinese Friday is still a thing, even during COVID-19. So I'm gonna eat this, I'm gonna finish the vlog here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, uh, don't forget to subscribe. Carly is gonna be cutting my hair tomorrow, which I will be filming. Uh, for YouTube so you'll see this after this video comment below if you think the Haircut is gonna go successful Kylie's gonna try and give me a skin fade um, But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one